We're going to examine and test the chord method, which is a method for determining and estimating the radius of a horizontal curve. We're going to do that by looking at something that's more precisely engineered than the typical curve. And this is looking at a, the end of a cul-de-sac, and this has a precisely, precisely constructed size, and it's about 100 feet. So I'm going to zoom in a little more so we can get a little, a little bit of a better measurement here. Where it's almost taking up the whole screen. And so let's measure here. So the, the diameter is very close to 100 feet. I may not be measuring exactly across that, but that means the radius is about 50 feet. So we can, we can we're going to draw some lines here and test and see if the chord method actually matches up and and works well for this. And the way we're going to do this is the chord method requires two inputs. It requires a chord and at the midpoint of that chord, a measurement of the middle ordinate. So let's do a couple of of lines and take these measurements. We'll do one from this point to this point. Um, let's see what the length is there, 75.5 feet. And then at the midpoint of this line, we want to measure the middle ordinate distance. So we need to get about the a midpoint here. So we need to be somewhere on the order of 37 feet. So this is probably pretty close. So at that point, we're going to want to draw another line and as precisely as we can right here to the edge of the curve. And that distance is 18 feet. Okay, so that's one measurement. And hopefully with a 75.5 feet long curve cord, with an associated middle ordinate of 18 feet, we'll find a radius of 50 feet. So let's draw another one. Draw it in a little bit of a, of a different place so we can get a slightly different measurement. Draw from here to here. And the length of this is 97.4 feet, so very close to the overall diameter. And so at about 47, or at about 48, 49 feet, we want to mark that as the midpoint and then measure a lot of middle ordinate from there. So there's our midpoint. We're going to draw our middle ordinate from there. It's close to a 90 degree angle over to the edge as possible. And that's going to give us a middle ordinate length of 41.4 feet. So we're going to take those measurements and we'll plug them into our equation for the chord method and hopefully they give us uh, the correct answer, which is on the order of 50 feet for the radius of this circle. We're going to use the chord method to estimate the radius of the circle that we measured the chord and the associated middle ordinate with. We actually did two versions of that to give us two different estimates. Hopefully they come up with the same answer that we measured looking at the overall approximately 100 foot diameter circle which gives us a 50 foot radius. So the chord method has an equation which associates the radius with the middle ordinate and the chord. So the radius is equal to the middle ordinate squared plus one quarter of the chord squared divided by two times the middle ordinate. So we're going to plug in our values. We calculated on our first measurement a middle ordinate of 18 feet and a chord length of 75.5 feet. And that gives us a radius of 48.6 feet. So very close to what we are estimating approximately a 50 foot radius circle. So we're going to use the same equation. We're going to plug in now the values from our second measurement. We found a chord length of 97.4 feet, which is almost the diameter of the circle, 
and associated with that chord, we, we measured a middle ordinate of 41.4 feet. And that gives us a radius of 49.34 feet. Again, very close to that 50 foot estimate that we have for the radius should give us some confidence that the equation for the chord method is correct. I wasn't very precise for this. I wanted just to show it as an example. And these numbers are, are very close to the what we are expecting is the true radius of approximately 50 feet. So this is a good equation for measuring the radius of simple arcs, particularly for highway alignment. If you're looking at an existing road and want to have some estimate of that radius of a horizontal curve, this is a good method to do this and to apply it using Google Earth or other similar online measuring tools.